We're at a Blackpool pier where the British public love to spend their holidays and their money. And that's why Jess is here with a game that's almost impossible to win. Called Hoopla. Two pounds for three hoops. Win any bottle here plus ten pounds plus any cuddly toy. Just hello. hello. How are you? Hello, thanks. Look at you with the two men. Which one's the lucky one? The middle one. The middle one. Lovely. Thank you Thank very you. much. Right, you get one hoop over the Thank base. You. you win the bottle. So you've got three chances today because you've got your three hoops. Plus ten pounds plus any cuddly toy as well. This all looks like a lot of fun, but in reality, it's a mugs game, and Jess will win every time. Oh, close. Oh, come on, last one, third time lucky. Oh, oh you know no. what? Very close, you need to go over the base there. So, how can Jess be so sure of always winning? The block that I use in my hoop claw game is actually covered in velvet, and has a smooth texture one way, and a rough texture the other meaning that when the hoop is thrown onto it, it's going to catch the rough texture on the velvet, making it very difficult to go all the way down. But not only that, the actual blocks that I use in the game are staggered, which means the hoop is going to get caught right on the edge, making it very difficult to go all the way down. Okay. Think you can do it? Mm -hmm. Go on and impress me, there's your for you. Time for some more people to lose their money on Jesse's hoopla game. Oh, unlucky. Third time lucky. And the professional fairground workers know only too well that this game is a money spinner. Oh, I didn't get over the base though. Really close, you didn't get over the base. Now, law of physics say that you can't throw a ring in front of you for it to come straight down vertical. It's impossible. So it will always catch the signs of it. It'll never go down to the bottom. If it does, then it's lucky. 